In this demonstration, we are going to look at how to prepare a flexible budget. Remember, flexible budgets tell us what our costs should be in total at a given level of activity. If we look at our sample data, we see that Rourke Productions makes a single product. Expected manufacturing costs are as follows. We have variable costs of direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead at $550. 240 and $1.10 per unit respectively. We also have fixed costs per month of supervisory salaries, depreciation, and other fixed costs at $13,600, $3,500, and $2,200 respectively. We're asked to determine the amount of manufacturing costs for a flexible budget level of 3,200 units per month. First step in preparing our flexible budget is to list our variable costs. So we had direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. And again, we want to determine what those total costs should be at this activity level of 3,200 units. So direct materials at $5.50 per unit times the 3,200 units we expect to produce is $17,600. We'll do the same for direct labor at $2.40 per unit and manufacturing overhead at $1.10 per unit. Then we want to factor in our fixed costs. So supervisory salaries depreciation in this other fixed cost category. Remember, fixed costs do not change in total within the relevant range of activity, so we can assume that supervisory salaries at this production level of 3,200 units will be the same 13,600 total cost as given above. Same goes for depreciation and other fixed costs. If we total all of our costs, both variable and fixed, we see that we would expect our total manufacturing costs at a production level of 3,200 units to be $48,100. So to recap, we want to factor our variable cost times the level of activity at which we expect to operate and then we want to include our fixed costs at their fixed total for the period. Please revisit any part of this demonstration that you feel necessary. Thank you.